So really, a majority of this that we've talked about and a majority of the um, developing this plan is, is the business impact analysis. And that's really all the pieces that we've, we've gone through. You're going to need to know those uh, for the exam, the, the actual steps, what happens at each step, uh, the different types of solutions that, that um, are, you know, recovery solutions and backup solutions and preventative solutions. And, but in real life, what happens is after the team gathers all this information um, and they figure out what the weaknesses are, the threats, they come up with potential solutions, now they bring it to management. You bring all of your data to management because they have to make the decision because they're writing a check. So at the end of a business impact analysis, it goes to management and they're going to have to approve of the solutions that, that your team has suggested uh, because they're going to have to allocate the resources. Or a lot of times they ask for uh, the team members to go and get some more information about this, that, or another thing before they actually make their decision. Everything that we've talked up, up to now, we actually haven't developed a plan. Nobody has even touched um, a plan yet. We, we talked about a policy, which is a high-level uh, management directives. We talked about uh, business impact analysis, implementing uh, pre uh, preventive con controls, coming up with recovery strategies. But once the uh, management approves it, that's when we move into actually developing the plan itself.